Keeping it, keeping it clean. Let's see what we got here. On initiation, Rome out front, Dylan in the chase position. Around that front clip. Pretty straightforward, nothing pretty, nothing dynamic as far as the flick, the rate to angle. In that second outer zone, you see Rome fill it. Dylan with really good proximity now, transitioning now out of that keyhole. Oh, look at this. Rome pulling away with great angle. Dylan Hughes coming through the smoke signal and back up the hill. Ryan, let's take a look at it again as the Coliseum is filled with smoke. Through the start chicane. Rome, I have a feeling he's going to apply the pressure here. He knows, I would say, uh, maybe the needle going Rome's way a little bit, but I know Dylan wants it. He is hungry. Now coming up the hill, look at him pulling away. Massive angle there from Hughes. Woo, look at that, fills all of that second outside zone. Really well done, I'd say a little bit more aggressive and as I said earlier, spirited. Solid execution on that touch and go. Now transitioning back up the hill. Lead versus lead, chase versus chase. The one more time battle here, Rome Sharpentier, Dylan Hughes. Let's see what you got, Rome, Dylan Hughes. See if he can step up, he got gapped there on that first battle, Rome. Brings it around. Low and slow, that is the tempo right now. Let's see if they turn it up. Rome throwing some gangster angle at it. And look at Dylan going deeper on the second run. Rome with some awesome angle. A great lead run to follow here. It looks like Dylan past that touch and go. Just a quick little flick of the wrist. And back up the hill, Ryan. I think here there comes was D. Hughes. That Royal Purple, O'Reilly Auto Parts, BMW initiated using all the track, getting out to those gator strips. They do bite, kids. All right, now pass up the hill. Dylan Hughes wiggling his way up top of that 2J power BMW. And Dylan Hughes in the keyhole. Rome gains that proximity. Really sticking it to him. Is it enough? Lead versus lead, chase versus chase, Ryan. In the grade eight as the top 16 Royal Purple. The Royal Purple Synthetic Experts official engine oil of Formula Drift. Coming down the pipe. Here we go, Vaughn Gibbs Jr. initiates. Look at the handle from Vaughn Dillon, just kind of a slow roller into it, and he is bathing in that middle tire smoke. Here goes Vaughn, first outside zone. Tick in the box, the second outside zone. Woo! Dillon Hughes lunges forward, he takes a shallower line, he compromises that line in order to get that proximity. Now on that touch and go, Vaughn doesn't get all the way in, but both of them do on that last inside clip. Great job by both drivers. But Vaughn Dylan Hughes, he's got the clean air. How's Vaughn getting Jr. Gonna chase him down. Dylan Hughes initiates, uses all the track, gets out to the dust, and throws, starts that GT radial burn. Oh, and there it is, Vaughn Gibbs Jr. comes in. Shallow, tightens it up, out to that second outside zone. Gets out there, hits it, and quits it. But Vaughn Gibbs Jr., look at this, he is sweating him. The chrome nose in the back end of that BMW. Quickly getting out of that keyhole. And look at this, Dylan Hughes bringing it up and around that final front clip. So great execution. Let's break it down here, Mr. Sage. Well, it is certainly here. Send it. Dylan Hughes initiates. Again, two great friends, but now bitter enemies. Come on, let's go. Dylan Hughes high on the bank. Travis Reader right there, holding it down. Now transition over the jump. You see the attitude of the vehicle taking out that front clip, that second inside clip. And Travis Reader all over D. Hughes. That Royal Purple O'Reilly Auto Parts GT Radial BMW. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. A clean start here with these two kids. There are laws. Here we go, Travis Reeder and Dylan Hughes. Reeder initiates nice and high on the bank. Reeder throwing it down. Dylan Hughes right there. Look at these guys are adorable. Oh, man. We're best of friends, but not right now. It's Reeder pulling away from Dylan Hughes. Gets into the crease, gets into the groove. Dylan Hughes falling back a little bit. That link engine management, BMW on GT radials, both front. Jonathan Aaron giving chase. Jonathan Aaron coming into that outside zone. Oh man, rain is coming down. It is thick. Now coming into that second outside zone. Like I said, rain X being utilized on that vehicle for sure. Through that second outside zone. Making it look good there, D. Hugh. And Jonathan Aaron tracking him down. That first inside clip is absolutely brutal. It is very slick right there. Now in that last outside zone, Dylan Hughes brings it across the finish line. Aaron through the start chicane. Headlights are on and now coming into that first outside zone. Both of them filling the outside zone. And it's 
to the second. Both are riding the line. You can see Darren just get a little deeper there. Ooh, almost some contact, but avoiding it. Nice job by Darren of hammering down both these guys in that final outside zone. Dylan a little bit timid. Oh, and Naren spins out across the finish line. Well, Hughes may have been able to kind of keep the battle a bit more. Rockstar Energy Drink, Toyota, GR Supra. Dylan Hughes, that Permatex, GT Radial, BMW into that first outside zone. Works it into the second. You can see Frederick going a little deeper than Dylan Hughes, but he still does mimic that angle. Look at the proximity from Dylan Hughes. Here comes Frederick Osbo on that inside clip. Both of them just wrapping around it nice and clean, very tidy. Clinical by both the drivers now into that final outside zone. Proximity, GT radials. Let's see how it goes, initiating. Really gets all the way out there, actually just uh, exceeds that track line just a little bit. Now Dylan Hughes. Look at that angle from him, but Frederick Osbo jumps right to the side of him. That's exactly what he needed to do, and look at Dylan gripping. Oh, comes out of drift a little bit, has a small little bobble and a mistake. He could definitely make up for it here in this last outside zone using all of the track and taking out that finish line cone. Hughes, Ken Shiro Gushi. Dylan Hughes, that, oh boy. And Ken Gushi, Ryan, just another Scenario, no. As Dylan Hughes continues through the course, Ken Gushi, I just have to imagine frustration is filling that cockpit. As Dylan Hughes, that Permatex, fast orange rain -X, BMW, crosses the finish line, the contact on that side. Ryan, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, Flabbergasted, I have, I have you can't go out there. I mean, it's the same thing that's been going on with Chris this year. Yeah. Right? It's just, yeah. It, it's just frustrating for the team and for everybody. All right, regardless, you know Ken Gushi wants to put on a show, and he could step up, and right now he is rising to the occasion. So Dylan Hughes really does need to apply that pressure, but he does have the advantage, as you said, Ryan, now going to that second outside zone. Dylan Hughes doesn't get all the way out there, but like I said, he might be a little timid here as he knows what just transpired. If he keeps it where the rubber meets the road, looks like Dylan Hughes will be getting the victory and advancing on 16, and that does look like it will be the case. Unfortunately, we're good to go. We'll go. Dylan Hughes in that first outside zone had an opportunity to have him up here in the booth and take a different perspective. Look at Aaron slide right up to the side of Dylan Hughes. Here comes Hughes. Now let's see how he handles transition. This has been a really issue, real big issue with all the drivers. Looks like. All right, so as. Dylan Hughes slides into that second outside zone. Naren comes in. You see a quick little checkup, but then they both slingshot out of that second outside zone. Play the BC Racing side by side. It's the replay as Naren goes into that first outside zone. Great angle from Naren. He, remember, he lost his supercharger belt, but it seems to be all super there. Now coming into that second outside zone, both of them very fluid. Look at Dylan Hughes, really. Applying the pressure, and Darren into that last and final outside zone. And you can see Dylan, oh wow, across the finish line, things got really interesting there. Ryan, any standout moments for you between Darren and Hughes? Good use of the uh, competition timeout there, just trying to make sure, kind of Matt Gentlemen, Field has to be. Our points leader, and the dozer, trying to take him down. Matt Field initiates, Dylan Hughes right there, backs off a little bit, has to make a correction. But Matt Field, great posture there, and Dylan Hughes, a major correction. Coming off that bank. Now out of that second outside zone, into the third outside zone. Looks like Dylan has found his sweet spot. And Matt Field, even All right, just so Dylan Hughes will now get the clean air. Fresh air out front. What do you got? The Permatex, BMW. Initiates. And Matt Field right there. Dylan, great angle. Solid initiation. Oh, and we got a tap. Let's see how he handles that, manages it, no problem. Into yeah, that second boy. outside That's zone. Steve, it? Taking that love tap. Look at that, continuing on. A great effort from both these guys, an effort and a delivery. Stand and deliver. And bring it across that finish line. From here in the Pacific Northwest.
Jonathan Hurst initiates. Hopefully a oil cap stays on here. Looks like it is. He's thrown it down. And it looks like you can see mid high to the bank. And now into that second outside zone. Oh, big angle from Hurst. That got really wonky. Look at the angle from Hurst. Now coming around in that final outside zone. All right, Ryan, this is where this is where I mean it looks insane, but uh, let's let's look at it again from the outside zone. Parked it. Dylan was like, whoop, hold on, put on the brakes. All right, here we go. So Dylan Hughes will now lead the dozer, and Jonathan Hurst will be given chase. Look at that, Dylan Hughes. Jonathan Hurst now it seems like he's a little lower, kind of alternating positions from what went down. Oh, and Hurst goes hard to the wall. Dylan Hughes continues on through the course. Let's make sure he is okay as Dylan does need to continue on through the course, and he does that. So this is another scenario. Did did Dylan cause any sort of incident there between Hurst and Michael Assa, Dylan Hughes. First battle of the great eight. Here goes Michael Assa. Out of the gate, big initiation there. And Travis Reed, what am I talking about? Dylan Hughes. Dylan Hughes going, getting after it. Michael Assa really high on the banker. Number one qualifier, D Hughes, the dozer going. Oh, wow. Barely avoiding some contact as Michael Essa and Reeders. God dang it, Dylan Hughes. What? They're the same person. They're the same person, Dylan Hughes and Reader. Oh my gosh, I apologize, Dylan. Obviously, it's not a bad thing I called you one of your one of your best friends. That fast orange Permatex BMW. Throwing it down. Oh, and Michael Essa makes contact. Oh, and Essa makes a large correction. But Dylan Hughes, the dozer, takes it. The dozer gets a taste of his own medicine. Now they transition. Dylan Hughes could advance into the final four. Whoa, a large slowing there by the dozer. And now bringing it on in and on home. Make some noise. Woo! Holy cow. Ryan, I'm just amazed by the contact being made today and just the drivers staying in it consistently. It's just the car's not being affected. Not that the driver's doing it. But a lot of times, the attitude of the vehicle, it gets disrupted, and it's causing them to spin out. But not the case here. Well, whatever happens really in true. this Here battle. we go. Send it! Dylan Hughes, Chelsea Denove, our first battle of the Final Four. That Permatex Fast Orange 2J BMW out front. Chelsea Denove chase him down the gold nose into his rear view mirror. Now coming down into that power alley. Let's see how they handle Chelsea Denova right there. Transitioning out with that third outside zone. Denova slides right into the door, but not making contact. In that final outside zone, Denova digs deep. He's a gold digger, baby, as he brings it across the finish line for him. Matt Field. <laughs> Here we go. Chelsea Denova, BC Racing, Dino Tire, Ford Performance, Mustang RTR, Spec 5. Chelsea Denova initiates into the bank. Dylan Hughes drops back quite a bit. He's going to need to gain some ground from what we've seen previously from these drivers. A little bit of a lower line there from the dozer. Now into that third outside zone goes Chelsea Denova. Dylan Hughes not maxing and mirroring that angle of Denova. And Dylan Hughes brings it on through. So Dylan Hughes, who qualified ninth, Denova qualified 28th. I saw him last night at Denny's. We'll see if those J-Paws or the moons over Miami helps him a little bit. As Dylan Hughes throws it in, in that first outside zone, in that second outside zone, Jonathan Hurst into formation, as you call it, Brian. Just jumping into that pocket. Dylan Hughes gets all the way out to that third outside zone, transitioning into that final. And both of them get out there. Dylan just goes slightly deeper, but Jonathan Hurst, no slouch. Well done there by the Cash Racing G37. Yeah, and we talked about it yesterday, Jared. Dylan Hughes getting on the podium for the first time, getting that third place in Seattle. Hurst and Hughes. Jonathan Hurst initiates the first outside zone. So does Dylan. The Dozer coming to that second outside zone. Pretty similar line to what they had in the alternate positions. Now coming into this final outside zone. Who's going to flex on him? Jonathan Hurst just barely digs in to that outside zone. And Dylan Hughes comes up a little bit short, Ryan. So uh, this, is a, this is an interesting battle. I would, I would not be surprised if it goes one more time. I mean, this is, you know, you kind of, no big X that start chicane. Sorensen initiates. Filling all that outside zone one. And Dylan Hughes has to back off a little bit, has to correct his line, it seems like. Now into this third and outside zone. Final 
outside zone. Sorensen puts it right in there, has to leave. Uh, Dylan mimics his line in regards to where Sorensen was. Here comes Dylan Hughes, Royal Purple, O'Reilly Auto Parts, GT Radial, BMW. Like I said, he's going to go fast. Bonneville Salt Flats next week. So be sure to follow, check out all the... Oh, wow, look at this. Dylan Hughes goes ahead into that first outside zone. Into the second. Like they were talking about in that battle against Jonathan Hurst. Very fluid. Filling all the zones precisely. Is Dylan. That, I mean, that would have been a really high qualifying run, but about to throw down. And here we go. Dylan Hughes out front initiating in that first outside zone. That 2JZ powered BMW approaching that second outside zone. Big angle from him. Nice job. Look at Odie's composure. A great job keeping that proximity and angle. Mimic him right into that final outside zone. There goes Dylan Hughes bringing it all the way out there. You can barely see with the amount of rubber that's will lead. Here comes Odie Bakshis. The frenemies are still in it. Here we go. Odie Bakshis initiates Dylan Hughes right there. See if he allows him enough room to transition. Yes, he does. Now coming into that front clip. Past that front inside clip into the third outside zone. How are they going to handle the last and final outside zone? Both of them bringing it on in. Well done by Odie Bakshis and Dylan Hughes. Consistency. Consistency. Dylan Hughes giving chase. Ryan Turk qualifying nine. Dylan Hughes qualifying 10. Ryan Turk in that gum out. Toyota Racing Corolla hatchback on Nitto tires. Dylan Hughes, that Royal Purple O'Reilly's Auto Park. GT Radial BMW going right to the side of him. Let's see how they transition. Rock solid in that second outside zone. Now approaching the inside clip. Oh, wow. Looks like, uh, look at that. Into that third outside zone. Want to watch the instant replay from second to third on the outside zone and filling all that outside zone for Ryan. Woo! Judge is getting hyped equally as well. Want to see the perspective from second into that inside clip. I mean, these two guys are so small. Yep. Right? So the second half of this battle is incredibly important. I have a feeling Ryan Turk's going to push the same aggressiveness as well, and it could pay off, and it, it, it might not. You know, I mean, you see the battle damage on the side of Ryan Turk's vehicle, but these two gliders ready to send it. Here we go. Dylan Hughes out front, that Royal Purple. O'Reilly out front, BMW. Look at that, Dylan Hughes. Gets a little dirt on the back of that BMW. He launches forward, but there we go. Ryan Turk now comes back to the side of that BMW into that third outside zone and exiting out. Ryan Turk hangs it out to drive and into that final outside zone. Ryan, wow. Dude, this, look at the attitude of the vehicles. Dylan, in that dirt, how did Ryan Turk keep his composure in that first outside zone? And then he jumped back to the side of him. That was jz Supra compared to the 2JZ BMW. So we got four JZs out on track. Holla, ho! As the Royal Purple BMW comes into that touch and go, gets all the way out there. Simon Olsen about middle of the track. Dylan is a little bit late on the transition under the bridge. Simon Olsen does get that proximity but not as deep as the dozer, Dylan Hughes. Like I said, Dylan is just on a tear. You gotta think, Ryan, he's inside, so he smashed it up pretty good, but right now, he's going for the gusto here on the streets of Long Beach, his first time out here, this iconic track, Dylan Hughes. He needs to make his presence felt. Simon Olsen doesn't get all the way out the touch, so definitely fills that first outside zone. He gets to the zone, the second outside zone. Dylan Hughes, great proximity here. Looks like he does mimic his line. Which could have been deeper by Simon, but I'll tell you again, when we went through that lead follow kind of expectations and the, the chase this, I think Cash was going to do something real big here, but Dylan's going to try to get his way. The Royal Purple, O'Reilly Auto Park, BMW. We're going all the way out to the touch and go. Castro coming up a bit short here. Now under the bridge, Castro taking a very shallow line, unfortunately. As Dozer, Dylan Hughes fills that second outside zone, approaching that final front clip. Castro whips it in and center punches that front clip, unfortunately. Here we go, Castro out front, Dylan Hughes in chase position. Castro initiates that Toyota Racing Toyota E6. There's no mess with Don Mobile 1. Yes, sir, there it is. Backing it in, pin that bumper. Dylan Hughes right there on the door of the back end of Castro going deep. Now past that second touch and go, approaching that final inner clip. Oh! That is Dylan Hughes and Dan Burkett. Dylan Hughes coming down the pipe. 
Big angle there from Dylan Hughes. Dan Burkett throws it in. You see some wavering. Dylan Hughes stays high. And that's Royal Purple BMW. Really hanging it out there. Now transitioning past that inside clip. Coming to that second outside zone. Both of them dialed in. Dylan Hughes. Great boy. On that second outside zone. Dan Burkett taking a tighter line. Flirting with disaster coming that last outside zone. Great job by Burkett, but I'll tell you what. Dylan Hughes given the, and Hughes, second run of this battle. Burkett initiates high on the bank. Dylan Hughes, failure to launch as Burkett, massive angle, comes out of it, taps that wall, stays in it. Dylan Hughes having a tough time on the bank. How will he manage in that second outside zone? Oh, and let's take a look at that different angle there. Was that, was that Dylan being too aggressive? Again, that, that angle didn't really depict exactly what transpired. Yeah, I think the POV cam from what I saw, and we'll get it from the other outside cameras, was it lo maybe looked like that Burkett was slowing down in that zone, and Dylan Hughes had nowhere to go. But there was an opportunity from the onset from Dan Burkett.